this is my first time touching an electric bike. I've been using oil and combustion engines for decades, and the idea of something without gasoline is very different for me. I can't imagine not shifting the gear or hearing the engine noise. Is it really riding a motorcycle at all? We are going to race a Triumph Thunderbird Storm and go off-roading on the Zero DSR. Can a seasoned motorcyclist get on board with this concept? Or is it something for the next generation? Let's find out. We are renting a motorcycle for 24 hours. Right now, we are on our way to pick up the Zero all-electric motorcycle. We've got to get 85 miles out of this thing. And you're in eco currently. Okay. If you so, change it, like I said, okay. custom, custom sport. sport. Uh, if it's kill switch, just like any bike, won't go anywhere. And then when you, you do that, I'll let you obviously. You give it a little bit, it'll go. So okay. this is on. Yeah. This is ready to ride. Okay. So oh oh wow. Okay. Just like that. <laughs> wow. Okay. So far, what strikes me is the simplicity to it, the ease. I didn't downshift or clutch. Keep in mind, I'm in econo mode and I can just pull the throttle back and pass with ease. This is my first time charging the electric bike at a charging station. And right now we're looking for a, a regular 110 plug-in. But we're not really seeing any way to plug it in. It looks like it's only for a five hole kind of connection. It looks like some kind of fast charging system. So uh, we just don't see any way to plug it into a regular 110 connector. We charged for maybe 20, 30 minutes, drained the whole portable charger, and it didn't do much of anything, maybe charged 1%. Let me, let me have time to start my engine. Yeah, he didn't seem to find that very amusing. <laughs> Here we go again. All right, we gotta go to a friend's house and charge. We're not gonna make it all the way, so that's the plan. How's it going? Mm, looks like we uh, do need a charge on this thing. Yeah, that's what Ready for this engine sound? All right, let's do it. <laughs> yeah. this, is what he, this is what he's using. I don't think this came with it. I think it's just a cheap little 18 gauge cord. Cheap old cord boy. Yeah. yeah, that definitely works. <laughs> yeah amazon -y. okay so here we are guys it is now 8 41 8 41 we're still sitting here charging here's my brother here's the uh poor soul that got suckered into getting free electricity so um here we are charging the bike right now to uh getting some electricity right now so there we are my brother finally gets to ride on the electric bike and we're hoping to have enough charge to get all the way back to his house. Okay, we have arrived at location and the battery is literally zero. We've made it back with a zero charge. So here we are rolling in and we're, we're alive. So that's good. Yeah, Brown's burning. We're at 23. I'm like... Uh, we may not make it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would have been a little fun. more enjoyable if we knew we were going to actually make it back. Yeah. That's for sure. So here we are. We're going to bring the bike in to charge it. The ca the charging cord they gave us was an 18 gauge uh, wire, and it's too small and it heats up when we charge. So we put a slightly bigger one we found from a printer. We'll charge it with that overnight and hopefully we can get this thing up and running again. Even if you could go 70, I think a nice ride usually for us is to get out there for a couple hours, which is usually 120 miles to 150 miles. So I think that's what I would like to yeah, see. Yeah, instead of, you know, we're not doing a bike ride, we're doing a bike charge, you know, so <laughs> it's not really the same thing. <laughs> Tomorrow, we're gonna check out the other modes, maybe the sport. It's 9.13 in the morning, and we finally got it up to 100%. This time, we got the luxury of putting it in sport mode, so we get to have a little fun with it this time. I wanted to give it heavy throttle, but I really wasn't sure what was gonna happen got to the end of the bridge, so I had to take it easy. 
Well, that was nice of him to make a little ramp for us to get on there. You know, it's uncomplicated. It's very manageable. To me, this is cool. We're just doing stuff we normally don't get to do. All my bikes are on road, so this is a treat for me. I can jump off the curb. Sometimes I feel like it's just too easy. I'm not doing anything. I'm just pulling a throttle. You know, I feel like I can go anywhere. Do anything. I can just pull out in front of an SUV if I want. I uh, didn't see that coming. <laughs> I'll let this SUV pass and then we'll get back to it. All right, I'm about to do my first curb jump. This is exciting. All the off-road guys will be laughing at me right now because you have to be perpendicular to the curb to pop up. And uh, I'm a newbie. I didn't really know that. After a little newbiness, uh, I did get up the curb. Uh, but anyway, having a good time. I tell you what, I do like the f fact that you can just go off-road, on-road, just the ease of not having to clutch and shift. It's just you and the train. There's no engine noise. It's just quiet. It's peaceful. It's enjoyable. I can just run up the hill into the woods. Where can't you go? I feel like I'm a little kid with this first scooter. Just getting to go wherever. It's, it's pretty cool. Gearing up for the big race. Can a Triumph Thunderbird Storm beat a Zero DSR All-Electric? Man, that was a tight race. Let's see what happened there. Okay, so if you wouldn't have brake, he wouldn't even gotten close. You would have just smoked him then, it sounded like. But I mean, I, mean, I beat him to the lamp. But yeah. then, like I said, I... Break. Yeah, so you beat him even while braking is what is what it looks like. Right. So because it looked like a really tight race until we realized you braked before the lamppost. But you think he just kept going? Yeah, he kept going. Because I drove it, we were trying to conserve the battery so much that we were driving in eco mode, and I kind of felt like I was driving a little sportier uh, moped. So how was the highway? Very nice. Riding. Very nice. It yeah, it really was. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know if I'd like, it sits you up kind of like the BMWs and you know, you're not used to, I'm used to a cruiser on the highway. Yeah. But actually I felt really comfortable. Just different. And when you were thinking back to those motocross days, what were you thinking about that? Uh, Other than the hardness of the ride. Give me my Honda back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We have this big, nice Tesla plug-in and couldn't use charging. it you know it was uh you know we have to have the fast charger so you know i think 2800 i'm not sure what that was but it seemed like quite a bit to have that extra charge uh power charger it just it definitely if you were going to yeah. travel on the road you definitely yeah. want it though i think so because you know the not only do you want that fast charger there's just not that many places that even have a 110 charger you know we were out there and yeah, no, no, no convenience store is going to say, here, here here's a, a 110 the, charging station for you. The same way you know. if you ride it to work. I mean, how many of uh, you know the bosses Employee, are going to say, hey, yeah, run that extension out, plug in your motorcycle. Right. But I noticed there was, once you put it kind of at 60, it just kept going, hills and whatever, and just kept still staying at 60. Yeah, that was, and, and, and even in traffic, it was quite easy to navigate 30 miles an hour, 20. Mm -hmm. 40 mile, whatever you needed, you didn't constantly adjust. Yeah. It, it was very easy to maintain regular that. motorcycle gear. You're yeah. always kind of you know, yeah. backing off this. Or that you didn't have to go third gear, that. second, first. Uh, I did like the way it you know, has a little pop on. I yeah, like that look. Yeah. I, I like that look. I'm glad we put yeah. them on. Yeah. So, it looked a little naked. <laughs> yeah. And I really think if you did buy it, I would buy I would go ahead and just bite the bullet on that and get the extra power charger. Because if you're out in the middle of nowhere, you, you need really it. need to be able to fast charge it. All right, last words. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Like you said, if you could get 300 miles range out of it, that yeah. would be a game changer right yeah. there. Yeah. I'm going to do a little test in the driveway to see how it's working. So it looks a little crazy right here. We ran over to Harbor Freight to grab a carrier so we could get it all the way back. We'll add a link in the description for y'all.
Oh, I'm not really riding this up. I'm just <laughs> All you very, hear is that noise. Uh, I don't very hear close, very quiet. You don't hear it, hardly hear anything. The only thing you hear is the tire noise, the tire going, brr, 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 you know, down the road like little knobbies. That's about all you hear out of this thing, which is neat, but it's also for a regular motorcycle rider, it's a little disconcerting. Yeah. How many times did you pull that clutch shift uh, lever? Uh, every time I stopped. <laughs> How many times do you need to pull that clutch? None. It doesn't have a clutch. It doesn't have a clutch, yeah. That is a, it is a neat feature, and it's uh, pretty nice. Uh, you, don't, you don't think about it. Once you stop thinking about it, and you don't have to uh, change gears, it's a really cool deal. Yeah. You let off the um, accelerator. It, it doesn't, breaks also. It, it, it has a slight has a slight break. But it's not overly, it doesn't just like jerk no. you forward. It That right. was what I was scared of. I thought, right. well, you let off and it's just gonna jerk you forward, but it really didn't do that. It has a, it seems to have, I believe that you can adjust it. Uh, at least that's where we got the guy, the guy that we got the bike from, I believe said you could adjust it a little bit to make it slow down a little bit more. It just kind of eases you down yeah. a little bit faster than a regular bike. Yeah, a bike, a regular bike, you just coast. This one seems like it uses the engine to brake you a little bit. Yeah, so it's kind of a nice feature. And but it, there's a lot of things I do like about the bike. You right, know, the charging is, is, you know, the the thing I didn't understand is is the the range has a lot to do with how fast you're going. You know, when when people say right. it's a hundred miles, more, more energy you're expending. Yeah, so obviously it's gonna, you know, drain the battery faster. But we were kind of expecting yeah. 70 would be the norm. Yeah, because the guy said, hey, you know, you can go 100 to 150 miles on a, rent, on a battery. Right. I said, you know, I said, okay, well, we can live with that. But then we found out later, reading the fine print on the website, that, you know, you had to go 55 uh, miles an hour to get 98 miles. And that, that, that's different, you know, and it's going 70. So, you know, right. we can't go 55 without you know a traffic jam or somebody running this down so right it's, it's quite difficult to do that and we also live in in more of a rural area and from point a to point b is usually 60 to 70 miles an hour yeah yeah so even We're not on in the, a you know in the urban area where point a to point b is 35 to 45 miles an hour. right so even on the road it's right so 60 is a minimum so we're never going, we're very rarely going 55. Right. So it's 60 to 75, 75, you know, and not, and we're just running out of battery, keeping up with the traffic flow. So it's just not working very well for us. Right. So that's, that's, yeah, I guess that's a little disappointing. Yeah. Yeah. I think if they could increase that battery, it would be a very enjoyable bike to ride. Yeah. Yeah. That's my only, and I, I love the on-road, off-road feature. You know, the bikes I have now are just simply, you know, uh, just road bikes. Right. So I do like it that I can go off-road if I, if I want. So that is a neat, neat deal. Uh, so once we can get that battery up, you know, I'm on board with this. Yeah. I think the brake pedal needs to be a little bit bigger, a little bit easier to find. I've been Perfect. riding it, I guess, in the daytime and then been able to find it. Even when I found it, it was pretty hard to find. So you think maybe Got another inch or something, you know? Probably another out. inch. It would be a little bit better. You wouldn't be resting on it, but at least you know where it was. Okay. I think that'd be good. Okay. If it falls off, we'll cut that from the video. <laughs> <laughs> Just like. <laughs>